Oh, yeah, hold on. Look at that. You better be able to see that. Look at that. And look at that. Is this working? Hit it, Tolly! Is her name Tolly? Yeah. Hit it! <laughs> Do we just sit here? Do we... Yeah, yeah. Should I talk over it? Oh my god, that's so bad. Okay, this is terrible. It started so much better last week. I cut it off. Can we cut? This is terrible. Welcome to episode... Can we... Welcome to episode two of the Homeless Minute, Israel's hottest talk show. I am Ben Shalom. I'm probably yelling again. I am very excited to have with me today two of Israel's best marketers, Melanie and Stephanie Amini of Gossip Media. We're going to meet them in just a few minutes. All right, hold on. All right. <laughs> Stephanie, this is you. You're going to hold that up? No, me. It's really for me, not for them. Anyway, we have a wonderful... All right, you can put it down okay. until I forget. We have a great show. Hopefully, you tuned in last week. Did you guys watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You watched with David Horvitz, Times of Israel. It was very exciting. We had more viewers than the uh, season finale of MASH. It was very exciting. <laughs> we have one laugh. We'll see you next week. <laughs> These are not notes. I'm studying for Wolpon. <laughs> So uh, apparently on Facebook Live, you can, I don't know if you know this, you can subscribe, so you're notified in the future, so I'm supposed to tell you to subscribe. I got a notification. What's that? I just got a notification. Wow. That we're live. That is so weird. I'm going to try not to watch myself. Okay, I'll turn it away. All right. And uh, thank you, Michal Lieberman, my uh, music buddy, for making that. We're going to jump right into the interview. Uh, we're going to try to keep this under 10 minutes. And um, so, uh, first of all, uh, our viewers want to know, are you guys twins? No. No. Not yeah. technically, but we are. That was a dumb question. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny you're back at home. We, we are twins, yes. Yeah. So you guys, you guys how, how long have you lived in Israel? Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. And how old is your company, Gossip Media? I'd say officially a year and a half. I know probably, I probably should have sat on the side, but you'll see why I'm sitting in the middle. For a, minute. Mm -hmm. for a year and a half. Um, it, tell us a little bit about what, um, what does Gossip Media do? So we uh, help startups to grow. So we focus on content, social media, and everything in between to get the brand to fulfill their KPIs, get users, anything. What is KPI? <laughs> key performance indicators. Our viewers want to know what KPI is. It's key performance indicators. Yeah, so we have startups to kind of fulfill what they need to do to get more and get out there. No, I, we are in WeWork right now. We're in WeWork. Um, Serona, I work in WeWork, Dubnov. Our most, it's like a hub for uh, freelancers and startups. Are most of your clients here at WeWork? Are they young, you know, also sort of startups? They're uh, across the board. We've got some businesses in the UK and America, but we've also got some startups actually from WeWork, and some startups that are just, you know, based in and around the country. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's definitely helped us being here in WeWork, Serena. It's like, it's like rolling up in a... Yeah, it's amazing networking here. Yeah, it's really, really good. I heard you guys even helped a, uh, a stand-up comedian with his marketing. Is that true? Mm, yeah, we did. Uh, I hired these guys. Yeah. <laughs> they helped me with my logo. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. So I heard, um, I know these guys for a little while, uh, but I, I never knew about uh, women in wireless. Not uh, wireless. Women in wireless, which is uh, a project that you guys brought to Israel. What is that exactly? Yeah, so uh, we brought the chapter to Israel. It was originally it was meant to be just Tel Aviv, but we realized that the whole country needs our help. Uh, what we do is we help women to get empowered to uh, inspire them to kind of grow in their personal skills and to become more confident and improve their whatever they need to do in order to move forward and grow and kind of like the whole lean-in mentality but we do more actionable events rather than just like talking and speaking and, uh, and doing conferences we do action items and learning and walking out and with we actively people. connect people like, yeah we we love it and I guess you know we love that aspect of making that relationship happen for someone else, because we know we've got good skills, so others can learn it too. Is there any difference in Israel? I'm from America. You guys are from Kentucky? <laughs> London, yeah. London, okay. London, right. That's what I thought. London, um, Kentucky. Is there a difference in um, the number of women in tech in this country than in England or America? I mean, are there a lot of women? I mean, I think the same issue is a, a global issue. Um, here, it's quite high, actually. Are you looking at my notes? No. <laughs> Right. If she does anything at Alana, you're allowed to. All right. I'll kick you. You can kick her. Okay. She I think anything. there is a. Um... Ever since you guys put your name tag, your name <laughs> size on, you can't be very. Yes. So I think there is a, still an issue here in Israel. Uh, a lot of women are trying to kind of get higher, but at the same time, you hear a lot about leading kind of startups and big 
uh, companies led by women. You've got like AOL and Nielsen and. Wait, and you Facebook mentioned it, is leading any kind of concept here? I mean, the, like, people can get what uh, easily three minutes of maternity leave. Like, it's much better. Yeah, to be a, a working mother here. Like, like, easier here to be a working mother, but also to be a woman. It's easier but harder because there's a lot of that army mentality that translates into businesses, and it's hard to get. Which means what? I was not in the. I wasn't. I was not in the army. army. <laughs> Neither was I. Yeah. But it's uh, it's basically kind of like brotherhood, and you don't get. Oh uh, right, foot in the protect, door. Yeah. yeah, you don't get your foot in the door as easily. Not that it means everyone's like that, but you find that a lot here in the UK. There is a lot more women in the tech field, but they came from like finance and accounting. And it's not like really an issue here. We find it's a bit more of an issue because it's still a young country and everybody's learning. But you know, we're getting. There. I mean, to say it's a global issue that women are not getting like enough uh, pay and it's oh, not sure. fair and all these things. But well, I'm also not getting enough pay. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, but we're, we're, our thing is not a woman. It's not about um, these kind of issues. It's just about giving, kind of building confidence to women and giving them more. So. Great. And how many people? When, when is your next event? So hopefully it'll be in sometime in August. We're going to do another learning event where we'll teach uh, Google Analytics because a lot of people kind of get stuck there and they need to analyze and understand data and all these things. So we want to give something a bit more hands-on to people. Last time we taught uh, nearly 100 women how to build a WordPress website. And got them live. And got them live. So, so that was an amazing... And two, We're live. We're live, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And two women actually went on and started enrolled in She Codes, which is a women's coding class. So now you talk about Google Analytics. So Melanie told me that she's a big fan of uh, Bing Analytics. Is that something <laughs> yeah, that I'm you trying know? to get her out of it? Okay. Yahoo, Benji. Yahoo Analytics. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want? Are you guys having fun? Would you? Oh, and by the way, if you have questions about marketing or women in wireless or men in wireless, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And uh, Tali, our producer for this week. Right, there's no laptop blocking their faces this time. That was, well, yeah. that was bad last week. Yeah. Ratings are going to go through the roof. Uh, you're going to read us some questions. Do you have a question? Yes. Do you have any good questions? The only question we have is where is the homeless? Where is it? All right, right. Well, who said that? Uh, someone named Avner. Avner what? Leon. Leon. Listen, Avner, calm down. <laughs> settle down. If you watched last week's, you know what's going to happen. All right, so what? Uh, you guys want to play a game? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so we at the Homeless Minute have a long tradition of, uh, of uh, a game here. We're going to play everyone's favorite game in Israel. Well, where is it? <laughs> top Amini, where we put our contestants through a rigorous quiz to find out who is the Top Amini. <laughs> My hand is the buzzer. Are you guys ready? Do we do I have to touch your hand? Well, not now. I feel like I'm sure we're here. <laughs> uh, I'm joking. <laughs> Come here, your elbows, please. You guys ready? Yeah. Question number one. When is your birthday? Hi, Ron. Stephanie, when is it? 7th of September. What year? 1983. That's correct. <laughs> is that what you were going to say? Yeah. Okay. Question number two. Put your hands on the tables. Who is Mama Mini? I want to get... <sighs> Mama Mini is our mom. And our surname is Amini, so it just makes sense. That is correct. You, why did you she's, let her... Uh, she's the coolest mom, so she has to be Mama Amini. She is cool. You had more of a hand. I know, but, but I go there first. That's the rule. I'm older. <laughs> I Do you guys fight in work? <laughs> we fight. You're like, yeah. Stephanie, it was your turn to send out the quarterly reports. This <laughs> <time."> <laughs> <laughs> what? Sell, sell, sell. All right. we, we squabble over who makes the coffee. Two to nothing. Oh, we're going to get to coffee in a minute. What is the most important thing to be conscious of when devising a marketing strategy? Community. Community. Is that right? I don't know. Yeah. yeah, it's building a good strategy and community. All right. Wow, that's very good. Well, there's no right answer. Yeah, I could have said anything, really. <laughs> we'll go to the judges. All right, we'll take that for an answer. All right, we're now at the bonus round. Okay. It's heating up in here. Do you like my title? It's really nice. Yeah, it goes with your eyes. Now, every answer will rhyme with a meanie. What is a round hat sometimes with a button on top? A round hat with a button on top? That was a beanie. Oh, <laughs> oh so obvious. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll call that a practice question. Yeah. How many people are watching? Can you see? There should be a number on there. Who cares? <laughs> if you didn't see the first 10 seconds or 30 seconds, just don't watch them. They were terrible. 41. 41? Thousand? Yeah. <laughs> what is another name for a hot dog? A wiener. 
<laughs> a weenie? <laughs> That's correct! A wiener? It runs with a meanie! Yeah, but it's... what's a weenie? She knew it. <laughs> she just guessed. Question number three. What website would someone in North America visit to book me for a comedy show or cultural program for this next year? Yes. Benjilovit.com. That's correct. That wasn't part of the quiz game, but it was important. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who did Robin Williams play in Aladdin? Uh, a genie. Yes, very good. Oh my god, I'm so slow. <laughs> what do you do for the company? Uh, I do a lot. I can't tell you. No, I do strategy, so I have to, you know, think quick. Okay. <laughs> what do you do? Let's move on. Last question. <laughs> this is for the championship, all the marbles. What do you call the most famous woman in England? Queenie. <laughs> she busted it first. I said it. <laughs> Round of applause, everyone, for the Aminis. Wait, I think, were there any more questions? All right, we don't need that. Uh, how long has this been? I think we're okay. We're going to wrap up soon. Uh, very quickly, tell us you have an addition to Gossip Media and Women in Wireless. You have another startup. Yes, yeah, so we actually, uh, all our tried and tested methods of marketing, we and our love of coffee came together and we built a startup called Discovering Coffee, okay. where we help you find good specialty coffee near you with a GPS and through location services. Uh, and you go on soon to be an actual native app, but for now it's a web app and you can go and give your location and tell you where there's good coffee near you. But what is specialty coffee? It's not just a cafe, what so is specialty coffee? So like, it's not Starbucks, it's not um, your random cafe that just sells coffee, it's somewhere that kind of cares about uh, the beans, they, where they come from, how they roast it, if they roast themselves. And also, they kind of like, I don't put them up. Sorry, go on. Also, the, different, hard job. <laughs> the different methods to not just espresso, but like, you know, different methods to get the brew. Perfect. So, so I like coffee, I think, but no point in my life have I ever thought that I care about the beans. Well, do you, it's like wine, it's the same kind of thinking as wine. I don't wine. care about the grapes, I just want good wine. Yeah, you do, you buy yeah, but eventually you realize that what you're drinking doesn't taste good, so you go looking for something else. And so the wine in the box, is that not, should I not be buying that? Actually, yeah, they're yeah. becoming specialty now, so yeah, yeah. wine in a box. They also, in America, have coffee in a box. It's just... Oh, like Dunkin' Donuts has coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that just a delivery mechanism? Like, yeah. yeah. But it, it, exactly, it has no meaning. But what we do is we help people, instead of walking straight to like Starbucks on your habitual route to work, we we'll tell you maybe along the way there is another place that you could enjoy a better cup. You should not have to go to Starbucks anyway unless you're at the airport. Yeah. It's much better stuff. Which I have a Heathrow. Oh, oh yes. Well, how do we find out more about Discovery Coffee? Is there a website? Yes. yes. Yeah. It's a discovery.coffee. Really easy. That coffee is a domain? Yeah. <laughs> How is that domain? It's awesome. I don't know, but it is. It's a thing. There's dot media, there's dot everything, dot London. So we found discovering dot coffee and it was a no-brainer. So. so if I want to get my website registered at dot amini, how much does that cost? <laughs> um, it's actually, they start about $2,000 okay, a day. So. Uh, before we wrap up, anything to plug? Anything you want to say to our thousands of viewers? Um, this guy. <laughs> Funny guy. And um, if you want uh, some marketing help, strategy, come to us. Oh, wait, any more questions? Any comments? Just a lot of compliments on your tie, Benji. <laughs> That's it. I can't wait to read the comments. I'm offended. All right. Um, Someone wrote so, Dot Coffee! Gidon Lowenberg. Hi, Gidon. Hi, Gidon. Dot Coffee. Liron suggests that you guys should do home delivery by drone for coffee. Mm. Uh, we've thought about it. Is that Liron Kopinski? He's a funny guy, though. We, we, um, we've... Not to say we haven't thought about it, but we haven't thought about it. How long have we been going? You see on there? Uh, yeah. 13 minutes. Oh my oh, god, I've got to wrap up. This is a really hard job. But we're getting better every week, baby, so we're going to see you next week. Uh, next week we're going to have... It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's on the... Oh, okay. No, it's on. <laughs> next week we're going to have social entrepreneur Jonah Fisher. Uh, I'm going to be performing tonight, Friday and Saturday in Tel Aviv. Go to BenjiLove.com for more information. Uh, like me on Facebook. And look what we have here. Oh my gosh. Tyler, you can even have some too. Thank you. Yes. We have almost this is from downstairs. From what? What are they called? Ali Caravan. <laughs> Ali Caravan? It's good stuff. Sounds hey, good. you want to play the song one more time on iTunes? Mm -hmm. uh, if my nutritionist is watching, don't look. Yeah, I'm not eating this. It's good though. Yummy. Good stuff. It's good, right? Mm. It's good stuff. I'm going to go turn it off now. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's no good way to end this. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. How do I stop it?